This is a story all about Terence. And yes, he, he's a tap. <laughs> Terence lived very happily with his sister Tessa at the end of the bath. But, but as there wasn't much to do, he, he liked getting up to mischief. Once he set the world record for dripping and gave Bernard the bath a world record headache. He froze in the middle of summer well, that's what he said he did. And once he dry when everywhere else was flooded. Oh, let, let's have a pirate adventure. How can we, sighed Bernard, knowing that Terence's ideas usually meant trouble. Easy, said Terence. We can all be pirates. And you, you, you can be the sea. And with that, he put Bernard's plug in, turned himself smartly to the right, and emptied in a whole packet of bath salts. Shh, 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 bubble, 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 bubble. The water gushed out and began filling Bernard. <coughs> oh, Terence, said Tessa timidly, I, I, I don't think you should. But it was already far too late, and besides, everyone was up for an adventure. Once upon a time, began Terence in his best telling a story voice, there was a ship lost at sea. Oh, that's me, said Lois the loofer, and sailed around the bar. Suddenly, continued Terence, a pirate ship appeared on the horizon. Arr. Me, 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 that's me, said Sefton the soap, and began chasing Lois, knocking over a big tum of talcum powder as he did so. Great clouds of talcum powder filled the air. <gasps> Fog, shouted Terence, delighted by the added drama. Um, hurricane, hurricane. <laughs> Joined in Bernard, getting into the swing of it as he blew. And he blew. And he blew. <laughs> The fog cleared, but in doing so, Bernard had made waves as big as mountains. More, 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 squealed Terence. And getting even more excited, he gushed out water as fast as he could. Oh, help, help, we, we, we're sinking, everybody cried. <laughs> uh, I'll save you shouted Terence above the roar of the wind. I I'll, I'll throw you a line. And without really thinking, he grabbed the toothpaste and squeezed. It was a very silly idea, but it set Bernard off laughing. <laughs> as a great worm of toothpaste squiggled in the air and landed on Lois. Yeah, she squealed as it wiggled. Then Tessa noticed the terrible mess they were making. Oh, stop, stop, she said to Terrace. Turn yourself off before we all get flooded away. But he couldn't. In the excitement, he'd got himself stuck. I could only watch as the water rose higher and higher until reaching the brim, it wobbled for a moment and then... Gush. The water spilled over the side and onto the floor, taking everyone with it. Woo! Oh wee! Squealed Sudsy the soap as he swirled around the bathroom. Oh! Laughed Lois as she surfed down the stairs, into the kitchen, out of the door, and off down into the garden. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> demanded Spencer the spanner, storming out of the cupboard. I, I, I can't stop gushing, gushed Terence. He was just a tiny bit afraid of grown-up Spencer. There was only one thing to do. Oh no! Clonk! Spencer clonked Terence on the head and poor Terence saw stars. 
He saw red ones, green ones and yellow ones. Ouch, thought Bernard. That, that was a bit unkind. Terence thought it was a bit unkind too, but it, it did the trick. The water stopped gushing, it stopped splashing and even stopped dripping. Oh, I, I'm going to keep out of trouble in future, he said, rubbing the bump on his head, just as another idea came to him. Um, I know. Uh, would anyone care to see a tap dance? 